Hi everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. In our last class, we have discussed system operation of single interlock type reaction system by using schematic diagrams. In today's class, we shall go through non interlock type reaction system in detail considering electric and pneumatic release activation using schematic diagrams for easy understanding. If this is the first time you are watching our channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below and click the notification icon to get the updates on our courses related to firefighting systems. Now let's discuss about non-interlock reaction systems. Non-interlock reaction systems are designed in such a way that the reaction valve activates and admits water to the sprinkler piping upon either operation of detection devices or automatic sprinklers. So in these systems, the deluge valve will open when either the detection system operates or a loss of pneumatic pressure in the sprinkler system occurs. When the deluge valve opens, water will flow into the sprinkler piping and any other opening on the system. Advantage of this kind of system is that if the detection system fails to operate or any malfunction, the system can operate as dry system. Non-interlock type is recommended for large dry systems which exceeds the capacity normally permitted on dry valve by NFPA 13. As you know, we have a limitation for maximum capacity for dry pipe systems. If you want to know more on dry type systems, you can check my video for more details. Now let us go through non-interlock system with an electric release type. Before we move ahead with the system operation, let us try to identify the system components. The major components as you can see on your screen are releasing control panel detector, deluge valve with complete trim assembly, solenoid valve and here you have pneumatic actuator and this is the system piping which is connected to the sprinklers and pressure operated relief valve. Apart from these components there are various other components like air compressors, check valves, strainers, butterfly valves, pressure gauges and emergency pull release stations and also you have pressure switch, alarm bells, all these are required for proper functioning of the system. In short, non-interlock reaction system utilizes an electric solenoid valve controlled by an approved system control panel with a compatible detection system and also a pneumatic actuator is also required. In the event of damage of the sprinkler piping or sprinklers, the deluge valve will open, water will flow from any opening of the sprinklers and any other opening in the sprinkler system piping. In our previous slide, we have discussed the system components for electric release type non-interlock reaction system. In this slide, let us go through the system operation in detail by considering this schematic diagram as you can see on your screen. Initially, the system water supply pressure enters the priming chamber of the deluge valve through 1 by 4 inch priming line which includes a normally open priming valve, strainer, 1 by 16 inch restricted orifice and check valve. This restricted orifice is used to restrict the flow of water to the priming line. Remember the line is 1 by 4 inch but the orifice size is 1 by 16 inch so it will allow water to go slowly but it will fill the system and pressurize. In the set condition 
water supply pressure is trapped in the priming chamber of this deluge valve as you can see on your screen by the check valve and both the normally closed solenoid valve and pneumatic actuator which is held closed by pneumatic pressure maintained in the sprinkler piping. The pressure in the priming chamber holds the deluge valve clapper closed keeping the outlet chamber and the system piping dry. In a fire condition when the detection system operates the system control panel energizes the solenoid valve to open. Pressure is released from the priming chamber faster than it is supplied through the restricted orifice. The deluge valve clapper opens to allow water to flow into the system piping and alarm devices. When a sprinkler head opens, water will flow from the system. See, when a sprinkler head opens, water will flow from the system. However, if a sprinkler opens prior to the operation of the detection devices or any time the pneumatic pressure in the sprinkler piping is lost, the pneumatic actuator will open. When the pneumatic actuator opens, pressure is released from the priming chamber faster than it is supplied through the restricted orifice. The deluge valve clapper opens to allow water to flow into the system piping and alarm devices. When the deluge valve operates, the sensing end of the PORV is pressurized causing the PORV to operate. When the PORV operates, it continually vents the priming chamber to prevent the deluge valve from resetting even if the open releasing devices close. The deluge valve can only be reset after the system has been taken out of service and the outlet chamber of deluge valve and associate trim piping are depressurized and drained. In short, in non-interlock pre-action system, the pre-action valve will be activated or opened upon either operation of the solenoid valve or pneumatic actuator. Once either of these two operates, the water will flow into the system piping. In order to operate this valve manually, there is an emergency release which can be pulled so that pressure is released from the priming chamber. The deluge valve will open but the water will be contained in the sprinkler piping. The water motor alarm and alarms connected to the fire alarm pressure switch will activate. If a sprinkler head opens, water will flow from the system. Let us go through pneumatic release type non-interlock pre-action system. The concept is same. Only slight modification in the system components. As you can see on your screen, here there is no electric release panel or electronic devices. In this pneumatic release type, you will have pilot heads or fixed temperature release sprinklers or thermostatic release. Apart from that, you will have the other components like deluge valve with the complete trim assembly, pneumatic actuator as we don't have any solenoid because this is pneumatic release type and you have system piping which will be connected to the sprinklers and also you have pressure operated relief valve. Apart from this, as we said also in our earlier slides that you will require air compressor, pressure switches, alarm bells, pressure gauges, all these are required for proper functioning of the system. In short, pneumatically controlled pre-action systems require a pneumatic release system equipped with thermostatic rate of rise release or fixed temperature release or pilot heads. Release trim for the pneumatically controlled pre-action systems utilize a pneumatic actuator normally held closed 
by pressure maintained in the pneumatic release system and pneumatic pressure maintained in the closed sprinkler piping. As you can see on your screen, here in this case, from the air compressor, the pressurized line will be connected to the system sprinkler piping and also one more line will be connected to the pneumatic detection system which is connected to the pneumatic actuator. In fire condition, either operation of the pilot heads or thermostatic release or fixed temperature bulbs or operation of the automatic sprinklers which are connected to the system piping opens the deluge valve to fill the system with water. If any sprinklers have opened, water will flow from the system. If sprinklers have not opened, water will remain in the sprinkler system piping until the sprinkler operates. A sprinkler head must open before water flows from the system. I hope you are clear with the difference between electric release and pneumatic release non-interlock reaction systems. If you have any clarifications or any doubts related to the said videos or related to any of our videos or classes, you can very well contact me on my LinkedIn page or you can comment on our YouTube channel so that I will try to reply to your queries as soon as possible. So in our next class, we shall learn about system operation of double interlock reaction systems. Thank you for watching my video series and thanks for your support once again. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to learn more on fire protection systems. Also make sure to hit the subscription button below and click on the notification to get the updates.